So this week's um, question, or one question I'm highlighting from our Instagram Q&A is uh, once someone asked, uh, they're looking for an in-person mentor, and they asked what questions should they be asking. The question's a really good question, um, and the reason why it is is because a lot of times, and I mentioned this in one of the, uh, the importance of a mentor videos for how to become a dog trainer, you know, we're... I think we kind of forget that we are the ones going into the interview when it comes to finding a mentor because, you know, respectable trainers are going to want to mostly interview you to make sure that they're a good fit. Uh, and this is where your research um, as the mentee comes in. You're really going to want to, you know, really focus on, okay, who do I want to mentor me? Why do I want to mentor? Why do I want them to mentor me? You know, what am I seeking to learn? What is my end goal? Um, and, you know, going to, you know, really, really figuring out like what all the goals are first, asking yourself the important questions. And then once we've asked ourselves these important questions, you know, then we, <laughs> we have to make sure that we're ready to answer those questions when going to go, you know, seek a mentor because they're going to be asking you the questions. Uh, they're going to be asking you essentially, you know, why should they, <laughs> why should they mentor you? Um, I know for myself, um, when I take in mentees uh, or, you know, shadow programs, apprentices, uh, interns, you know, you, na you name it, uh, any of the different programs we offer, uh, I interview them first. You know, I'm basically, okay, what are we looking to achieve by the end of this relationship type of a thing, right? Um, you know, what are your goals in the dog training world, even outside of being a part of Primal Canine or not even being a part of Primal Pro? not even being a part of Primal Canine, um, just your in general dog training goals. And then going from there, like for me, I personally like working with people who either have um, started a business or are trying to start a business, <coughs> excuse me, or people who want to eventually, you know, work for Primal Canine. Um, and that way I can kind of help build them, um, you know, based on their goals, and plus I know they have a long-term commitment to dogs and dog training in the, in the industry. Um, shadow programs, you know, with people that do the shadow program, it's if they're just looking to learn, perfect. Um, if it's anything like apprenticeship, ment uh, mentees, things of that um, nature, I'm looking for more long-term. So I look at that. Uh, I also look at, you know, work ethic because I work every single day. So I expect my, you know, my people, my colleagues to work every single day as well or work as much as they possibly can, but that's just me. You know, every mentor has its own different thing. So if you can kind of get what I'm saying here is that the most important thing is realizing that we're not necessarily asking questions as people looking to get mentored. You're doing the research to make sure you're going to the right person 100%. Um, and, you know, send an email and have a conversation because even though you may have done the research and everything on paper or on the internet sounds good, but then you talk to them a little bit, you may find out that like, hey, maybe this isn't a great fit for me, so I should probably do some more research. Um, and even when it comes to like the basic questions that you can ask, um, you know, maybe your possible future mentor is, you know, the hours that they require, you know, um, the duties that you would have to be doing. Uh, a lot of, you know, things that are logistical, right? Um, because that right there, you don't want to necessarily get into something that you can't fulfill. Uh, and then, you know, you kind of, you start something that you won't be able to finish, if that makes sense. Because um, sometimes people require a lot of hours, and typically when you're a mentee, you're not getting paid, um, nor in any of the other you know other forms of you know learning uh, to become a dog trainer. So I guess if I were to find those questions, that's what it would be. You know, time dedicated, um, duties, you know, amount of shadow time that they would receive, things of that nature. Um, but just, you know, again, do your research, make sure you are seeking the best possible fit by, you know, researching first and don't just go off of social media. I know that's coming from somebody who is on social media telling you this right now. Um, but, you know, social media is a good way to, I, I use social media as almost like a resume um, to show the kind of the ins and outs and be as transparent as I possibly can. Because I know there's a lot of like fake stuff on there, um, but, you know. Go on, you know, their websites, you know, look up other, you know, things that they may have put out there, you know, talk to people who maybe have worked with them that, you know, social media is good for networking um, and kind of just get a good overall view. Uh, the other thing you can do, do too is before you make that commitment of 
you know, mentoring or menteeing under them. If you have a dog, maybe go get some lessons. See how they train. Um, if they do workshops, go check out a workshop. Um, there's things you can do to better prepare yourself to uh, become a mentee. But yeah, guys, uh, that's it for this question. Again, every Monday I do, or hopefully every Monday, sometimes my schedule is a little uh, out of whack when it comes to travel and whatnot. Um, we do a Q&A on Instagram, and then I come on here and do an extended version of it. Um, or if you have any questions, um, and you guys can do this on YouTube, is ask the question below in the comments, and then I will go ahead and do uh, my best to gather those and possibly put another one, uh, another one of these extended Q&As up here on YouTube. But yeah, guys, if uh, you like this stuff, make sure you like it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, put them in the comment section. And yeah, subscribe, and um, you guys have a good one.